Hey guys, at the hotel, packing up. I've got so many good things, you know? My path is laid out, the trike is here, all my gear is pretty tight. I have a plan, I have these videos, I have all the experience behind making them, and I feel like I'm at a certain point where things are really, really good. The people I've been meeting are, are top notch, and, and there's this whole world that's waiting. And I just can't stop thinking about my body, you know. Not even my body. Everything is good. Except for my knees. Both of them don't feel perfect, but this one is the one that had the tear. Uh, I had a meniscus tear on my last, my last restart. Again, I haven't told you the story of that. Uh, I told you the story of getting hit by the truck. But I didn't really tell you the story of... Uh, me and Ryan, I'll have to put that together soon. Last night, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I had that therapy yesterday, and therapy, I don't know, therapy can fix, it could probably fix inflammation. But this morning, I'm laying in bed, and I go to get up, and just starts. Every time I lift my leg, I'm gonna hit the road. I told Annie, and, uh, you know, she's like, do you want to stay another day? And what's another day going to do in the whole grand scheme of things? She said, maybe it's just your brain. Your brain is telling you that, uh, that, you know, you have a bigger problem than you do. You know, paranoid. Very much could be. But when you hear a click and you feel that the reverberation through your body, I have been listening to a lot of you guys. Two solutions for the for the trike to help alleviate some things. One of them is a thing called knee savers, which is a extension of the pedals, moving them out farther, so your so your legs don't have to do this. So they're more like this. I left them in China. I have them. Um, I'm gonna have to see if Annie can find them and then send them to me. And the other is uh, shortening the cranks on the trike arms. The problem is I have the specialty uh, front crank called a schlump. In order to get my cranks shortened, I have to order them from Germany. Basically what it is, is you've got these cranks, right? You see how my elbows are bending? But if they're smaller, my elbows don't bend so much. So they recommend that. But anyways, I'm very nervous. But today should be a flat ride and it's almost 10 o'clock. So let's go. Sometimes it's funny, I uh, pack these bags over and over. You get better and better at it, and you get like, you allocate the space better. I feel like my bags keep getting lighter and lighter. I do spread weight out a little bit differently between my side bags and everything, but I'm about ready to get on the road. Sorry about the beginning, I, I'm kind of, this is my opportunity to express what's going on and I just want this thing to go the long way. I feel like everything's so good. I'm gonna have to rethink these stairs. Not that the Carrying them down doesn't work, but the wheels keep turning. I gotta find a way to lock those those wheels so they don't turn. Whatever the case, that's it. That's the road. That's the road through Korea. I think there's supposed to be cars on this road. Anyways, I think for the most part there's no car. There's no car supposed to be on this road. I'll tell you what, I am constantly impressed by that drone. I mean, I'm not even in the windy area, I'm under the bridge, but 
it is really windy out. I'm always hesitant to fly it, and then as soon as I do fly it, I'm like, I'm glad I did. I carry five batteries with me, and I'm halfway through one, and I just did an amazing amount of video. This is one of the reasons that I go slow. It's because I stop and take video and pictures. stop and uh, grab some lunch here. There's a little <laughs> supermarket. There's a bunch of people camping here too, which is promising. I'm looking at trees. I see a couple that are hammock worthy. I'm eating um, a little meal. Got beef, kimchi, uh, corn and rice. Got a couple of power bars. That'll set me for a while. Try something here. I didn't think about this, but in Korea, like almost under every single bridge, you have these these really nice workout machines. So I think what I'll do is I'll do like uh, every one 100 sit-ups. Try and do a bunch of pull-ups, which I'm horrible at. Maybe just start with 10, and then just do push-ups. Maybe it'll get me in shape. I'm going to uh, Busan. Busan? Yeah, then Australia. Australia, okay. I'm going all the way around the world. Jayo! <laughs> Jayo! Jayo! Okay! You know me? Ah, I know! Jayo! Yep, yep. From China. That's me. Okay. Yeah. Hey, look what I found. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like Jayo! Hey! He's like, hey, I, I says hi. He says, hi. Jayo! <laughs> We're talking trikes and riding on the trail. Okay. So uh, I'm riding with him for a little bit and then he's gonna veer off and I'll continue on. It's my first trike I've seen on the road, other than Ryan. Very cool. A nice ice. Nice ice. <laughs> He's uh, in line. That's him right there. And uh, stop at the Starbucks. Very interesting Starbucks. The trikes are right there through the trees. But they climb all the way up to here. I am uh, 67 kilometers into this thing. My friend is turning around, heading back to Seoul. What is that, food? Food. Oh, look at that. Look at that, a little energy. Oh, 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 careful, careful. This is what makes traveling worthwhile, meeting friends along the way. You will have a nice ride back. We had a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Okay. Wonderful day. Okay. All right, Jayo. Uh, Jayo. Have a good time. Take care. Send me an email. And once again, it's just you and me. Let's try and put another 40 kilometers down, eh? Maybe I can make it an even 100 today. So when I have somebody to ride with, like a riding partner, I do tend to push myself a little harder. We had a pretty good average speed. I still, though, I, 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 I tried to make sure I didn't push too hard, you know? I went according to my my uh, knee, really. And so far, so good. It was clicking this morning in bed, but I feel like right now it's it's not, so let's see if we can keep that up. 
Ha, ah, took a little took a little stop. I stopped because I had a couple of people say hi. Hi. Hi, nice to meet this you. This guy went to school very yeah. close to where I live. Yeah. What's your name? Oh, uh, Tommy. Tommy. Tommy is my English name. N Matt. Nice dad? to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my dad. Hi, dad. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> where are you guys going today? Uh, I'm just like uh just doing a loop around Seoul to Yangpyeong in this area. Okay. Just jail. All right. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Jumped off the path for a little bit into a city, small one, I guess. Some of you have asked me uh, to say some names of places. I'm sorry, guys. I can't pronounce a lot of these places, and I don't even know where I am. I have a pretty good lay of the land in uh, China. I I'm I'm at th this place right now. Later, I will be at that place. <laughs> Anyways, I'm looking for a coffee shop. It's it's half past five and. I'd like to sit down and edit for the duration of the evening. Then, maybe get on the trike again, continue riding until I find a place to set up a hammock, and uh, then call it a day. I'm looking for a coffee shop-ish, ish, ish area. I'll let you know when I find one. Okay, I just finished the first vlog, so yesterday's vlog. I'm gonna set up today's vlog and edit as much as I can. And then uh, I'm gonna go try and find a place to tent. And then tomorrow I'll find a coffee shop and finish that one. And then, so I think I'll, I'll try and do that process. Seems like it'll work. Yet, they are, they are frustrating because when they come, they come in hordes. And my trike is slowly being engulfed with uh, fish flies. As long as I can get my hammock up and get inside without letting those little munchkins in. Uh, but I think the ride to find a... Uh, <laughs> I still got another hour maybe before I leave here. By the time that happens, it's gonna be a... <laughs> it's, it's gonna be epic. And so with a free cheesy pretzel and some water, this coffee shop has just joined the Jaya Nation. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I grew up in Michigan, and we had tons of those bugs. They would, they would be so thick that you'd have to take a snow shovel to them in the morning. So this isn't so bad. What a beautiful night. I'm gonna get back on the road, start cycling, and then just take it as it is. And then as soon as I see a place where I can string up, I'll string up. That can take as long as it wants. I feel pretty good. This is quite a ride. I sort of feel like I'm Matthew in Wonderland. All the shrubs are neatly trimmed. The trail is lit. There's glowing colors. I bet you this place is pretty popular during the day. Now this is my first time attempting to camp out somewhere public. Can I just camp out at a park? Is that is that allowed? I feel like I could go off the beaten path somewhere, but where? At the moment it's so dark, I can barely see anything let alone know if an area is uh, ripe for camping or not and if I camp too close to the bike path maybe that's not good you know attract attention but attention might be a good thing too I bet it's beautiful right now I think I'm on like a little hill road because it goes down on both sides I think I scouted out a nice little location it's it's on the downside of the path in like this little forest actually forested area 
it'll be beautiful in the morning and kind of concealed right now for those cyclists that view this ride it's way off apparently I was sitting at the coffee shop and it didn't know where I was so it added about 10 kilometers or so <laughs> so anyways I did go a long way I don't exactly know how many that added but it seemed like it added a lot all right we have camp camp set up beautiful view the trike is underneath so if I turn the light out I'm pretty whoa did you see that did you see the shooting star holy moly what are the odds I'm gonna go to bed and then I'll let the light wake me up. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Jayo, I'll see you tomorrow.